Hey everybody to another episode of HDTV Live. I am Jack Boomsma. And I'm Elliot Hartford. And we will be keeping you up on our current events. Uh, so tonight we actually traveled to Gettysburg to play Potter County in the second round of playoffs. And then hopefully we can do it. They beat us by I think four or six. Yeah, six. six in the regular season. A really good game. Shouldn't have lost it, but this time we just got to redeem ourselves a little bit. Right? Yeah. yeah, it's a redemption game. I think we have more to lose than they do. So. And a little fun fact, we haven't had a second round playoff competing team in football in Hitchcock Tuller since 2012. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. But now I'm going to send it to um, Riley with the kids in the elementary. I'm Riley Flea with HGTV Live and I'm here with Elliot. What grade are you in? Fourth. Uh, what's your favorite subject? Math. How are you liking school this year? Good. And what's your favorite thing to do at recess? Play soccer. Thank you. I'm Riley Flay with HGTV Live and I'm here with Sabella. What grade are you in? Third. How's school going so far this year? Good. What's your favorite thing to do at recess? Play tag. And what are you looking forward to coming up? People's birthdays. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you, Riley, for those interviews. Um, obviously, those are always nice to see. Um, so, send it to Jacob for the weather. Hey, it's the weather, man. Uh, we got our seven-day forecast this week for Hitchcock. Uh, Friday, we got a high of 60, low of 38. Saturday is a high of 58, low of 32. Sunday is a high of 46, low of 26. Monday is a high of 43, low of 24. Tuesday is a high of 42, low of 19. And Wednesday looks like high of 47, low of 24. And Thursday is a high of 48 and a low of 26. For the seven day forecast in Tule this week, we got for Friday a high of 60, low of 38. Saturday is a high of 58, low of 32. Sunday is a high of 46, low of 26. We got Monday, high of 43, low of 24. Tuesday is a high of 42, low of 19. Uh, Wednesday, we got a high of 47, low of 24. And then Thursday, we got a high of 48, low of 26. Back to you. Thank you for that weather update, Jacob. Looks like it's going to be a bit of a cold one tonight. Yeah, it is. Yeah, this next week, some, some times down in the teens. We got a little cold. Maybe there's chances of snow. It's supposed to be wet this week. So Wrap up, bundle up, stay warm, be safe. safe. Don't get sick. Don't get sick. Anyway, um, so now we'll send it to Zach Gilbert with the sports. Whammy! I'm here with your sports recap. So uh, tonight, uh, the Hitchcock Tuller football team will be traveling to Potter County to play them in the second round of playoffs. That will start at 7 o'clock in Gettysburg. Uh, the past week, uh, the volleyball girls have played Sully Buttes in Weston Springs. Uh, they won a five-set game against Sully Buttes in Oneida last Friday. And this Tuesday, they played Weston Springs and they won that in three sets. So, and next Tuesday, they will travel, travel to Castlewood for the first round of Regents. And for cross country, uh, Ella Johnson traveled to, uh, for the, traveled to uh, Sioux Falls for the state uh, meet and she placed 72nd out of about 120 people, I think it was, so yeah. I'm here with Coach Salmon. Uh, Coach, you had a pretty good game against Faith last week. Uh, how, how do you think that went? How do you think it went? I don't know. Uh, 38 to zero is, looks pretty good to me, but. When you said I had a good game, I thought you had a good game too, but. Well, yeah. <laughs> yes, our team did well. We, we won and uh, it was a good win. Our, our uh, goal was met as far as winning a first playoff game. And so that's exciting. Yep. All right, and I see you get a rematch against Potter this week for the second round. Uh, any thoughts on that game? You know, my thoughts are that I expect to win. I expect us to win and uh, for us to uh, come out and play better than we did the first game. Of course, they're, they're, they've gotten better, but we've gotten better, and I think we'll come out on top. All right, well, good luck. Thank you. I'm here with Mr. Opp. Uh, Mr. Opp, you had a pretty good game, uh, pretty good couple last, last games uh, here. You want to talk about them? Yeah, um, Friday we went out to Sully Buttes. Um, it's never easy going out there and making the long road trip. We got down 1-0 on them. 
came back, won the second and fourth sets, and ended up going five with them and uh, finished them off 15 to 11 in the fifth set. Um, it wasn't pretty, but we, like I told the girls, we ground out the wind and uh, got got the W, which was nice. So, mm -hmm. and then um, last night we played Western Springs, and uh, again I thought that was probably one of the best all-around performances we've had as a team this year, um, defensively, offensively. Um, Caitlin Trayer had 24 kills in three sets, which is outstanding. Hit a 475, which is really great. Um, we've had some nice defensive plays. Brooklyn Frankenstein, Danielle Noel, Matt Madison Holfer, you know, Bethany Weeby even stepped up. Shandy said a good game. So it was nice to see everybody put it together and get the W. Yep. Uh, what are uh, regions looking like this year? Um, next Tuesday, we'll travel over to Castlewood. We came in as the number six seed. Um, Castlewood's the number three seed. Um, so we'll play, travel over to Castlewood, play them at 7 o'clock next Tuesday. Um, I've been just watching some film on them. They're, they got – you know, two power hitters, um, Presley Connect, and there's one other outside here that we're going to have to kind of contain. Um, but I think if we can go in and play well, they're very beatable. Um, mm -hmm. You know, so we have to have a good week of practice here leading up to that. Yeah. All right. Well, good luck, Coach. Thank you. Thank you, Zach, for that weather up or sports update. Um, so, yeah, obviously we have our football game tomorrow night again. Girls Regions is coming up this week in Esteline, I Castlewood. think. Castlewood. Castlewood. And that's on Tuesday. That'll probably be what start at 6.30 or 7, 7 yeah. o'clock. Um, and then I got your upcoming events. So October 29th is FFA National Convention and then All-State Choir. And there's also Enhancement. Uh, October 30th, All-State Choir again. 9 a.m. is elementary girls basketball in Tulare, and 12 p.m. is elementary boys basketball in Tulare. The boys varsity team is putting that on for a little fundraiser. Then October 31st is Halloween. Oh, spooky. Anyway. Spooky. November 1st at 6 p.m., uh, elementary girls play at wound socket for basketball, and then boys play at 7 p.m. And then first round of regions, like I said, is in... Um, Castlewood. Castlewood that night. Uh, and that will start at 7. And then November 2nd at 7 p.m. Oh, that's volleyball. My bad. And then November 4th is Region Volleyball uh, round of 32. So one right before this week 16. We'll see if our girls make it that far. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah. Boys will be over there to support them. But anyway, how did, how's birthdays coming? Yeah, well, I'll get to birthdays here in a bit. I want to follow up on that All State Fire stuff. Um, I don't know, but uh, it will be on the South Dakota Public Broadcasting Station. I don't know whatever channel that is on, but you can find, you, it's like a little, where's Waldo? You can try and find Jed, Danielle, um, Maddie, and I while we're there, there at All State Choir. That is on Saturday. Uh, October 30th and it starts at 7 o'clock so just be nice anyways back to birthdays um, happy birthday to Jordan with Trevor with or Trevin with Ali Decker Sydney Stoner Sienna Stoner and Cole or Hunter Cole so happy birthday guys as always folks thank you for watching and tuning in to HDTV live I am Ron Burgundy. I am Brian Fantana. Stay classy, Hitchcock Dealer.